Hey everybody. Okay, here I am. Finally putting together my Space 1999, the alien moon vehicle, lunar vehicle. I don't know exactly what you would call it. It's not a moon buggy. because That's another vehicle. But um, I finally started uh, putting this together. And it's a pretty simple kit. That's why I kind of said, well, I can get this done pretty quick. So, first of all, this kit seems to be... Uh, have been inspired by a few previous kits that were available in the past, MPC or, or AMT, and this one that I got is a reissue from 1977, I believe. So anyway, here's what I got going on right here, and uh, like I said, it's not too bad. It's coming along okay, until I got to one point. One point is where the instructions show these two items to be put underneath the seating area and the bottom chassis. As you can see here, the instructions say to put this part here underneath the uh, where the chairs go, where the seats go and everything. Um, there's no room for that to go there. First of all, if I put it there, then basically this will end up sitting up too high and won't fit. Second, these things would not be seen if I put them in the spot where it says to put them. Now, I have considered putting these upside down um, on, on, on the forward area so that at least you'd be able to see it from below, but then it sticks up too far too far down or sticks out too far down so if anyone knows where these stupid parts are supposed to go please let me know in the comments um don't know if these are left over from one of the previous kits because uh, this kit did come with uh two extra wheel hubs because this kit used to have six wheels instead of four so i don't know if these are leftover pieces or what but right now i'm considering just placing these babies right here in the back of the of the Lunar vehicle and calling them and making believe that there's some sort of uh, nuclear power pack, nuclear battery, painting them a different color and and you know some highlights on those raised areas, just have them look like uh, nuclear power packs or something. Um, that way, uh, I have something in the trunk, gives it a little contrast and it can be seen. Because right now, putting them in this direction, they will never be seen. If you look underneath the car, these are wide open, nothing there. So if anyone can tell me what to do with these stupid things, let me know before I finish up my kit. But uh, if not, most likely I'll just put them back here for, like I said, for show, for luggage and or nuclear power packs. So I'll let you guys know when I'm done with this one. But uh, if you got any comments, if any of you guys have built this in the past, I have found zero videos on this kit. Okay, everything else seems to be going, going together very well. Oh, with the exception is that I had to take this piece here and I had to cut cut a section out to allow me to uh, fit uh, the steering wheel column in there. Okay, no big deal. Can't see it from down there. No one's ever going to see it. And, oh, and before I go, one last final part. I was in uh, Home Depot the other day just walking down the aisle did not even go into the paint section but on the end cap and my eyes just glanced over and lo and behold what did I see I saw this bare paint and primer and it said gloss lunar surface I was like gloss lunar surface really so I bought it and that is the color of the base right now okay it's a uh, shiny which is cool I mean, I could always flatten it out a little bit if I want to, but uh, as you can see, that's the um, that's the light gray lunar surface paint. So, anytime I need a lunar surface, I'm gonna at least start with that or end up with that. I'm not sure right now. This color, I'm pretty happy with right now. So, all right, guys. So please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are, and uh, we'll see you soon.